Hey, and welcome. In this second tutorial we are going to open an existing track with GJet and save the G environment file. But first we need to check some things in the scene file first. If you work with the FBX file, then there is no scene file. So you can skip this part. We will come back to this later. Open the scene file of the track with notepad. Check the search path in the scene file. These are folders used for dev mode to search for content such as GMTs, textures, and animation files. Close the scene file and save the changes if needed. We are now ready to open the track in GJet. Open GJet and reset the cache. It's important to reset the cache if you have experimented with GJet before or when you switch between projects. If you want to change the window size of GJet, now is a good time. But I hope you've watched the first tutorial. Click on the first folder icon, and a pop-up window will appear. In the first line we need to select the scene file or FBX file we want to open. In the second line a G environment file will be created. It will use the same name as the scene file or FBX. In the third line we need to fill in the root path. This is locations for tracks, vehicles for cars. In the fourth line. If you work with an FBX file, refer to the texture folder and a placeholder GMT and animation folder. If you open an existing track with a scene file it will use the search path in the scene file and you can leave this empty. In the fifth and last line you can refer to MOS files, like the common maps MOS file. But for existing tracks, you can leave this empty. At the bottom there are some tick boxes, don't tick them if you don't need them. Click on load and get some coffee, your track is loading. Once your track is loaded, there is one last thing you need to do. That is to refer to the scene file. A note to that, if you work on an existing track, you don't need to export the scene file, only the GMTs. If you work with the FBX file you'll need to refer to a placeholder scene file. A copy of Joesville scene file will do. Copy paste the scene file of Joesville into your track folder, rename the file with your track name. And refer to this file in GJet. If you export the scene file with GJet all content of the scene file will be overwritten and is ready to be opened in dev mode. But we are working with an existing track, so we are exporting GMTs only. Now save the G environment file. Click on the disk icon. Tick the material library, these are the material shaders and its properties you are using. Tick the mesh data, these are the instance and object properties, such as shadow caster, hat, collide, etc. Tick the mapper data, these are the reflection mappings. Click on OK, and everything is saved in the G environment file. Close GJet, and reopen GJet. Your project will be in the recent list, and when you click on it, everything is filled in. If all is OK, you can test the export. Click on the export icon and select the GMT folder. Untick all, except the GMT tick box. Click on export all. New GMTs are created. But in this case, with no change. One last thing I want to explain. If you export GMTs with new settings, and you want these new GMTs to be opened in GJet with the new settings. The safest way to do this is to delete the G environment file and start fresh, with the beginning of this tutorial. I recommend to export the GMTs once you're completely done, changes will be saved in the G environment file, and because you can see everything in GJet as it would appear in game. So save changes in the G environment file. Continue the next day or whenever you have time. Export the GMTs when you are happy with the result. Have fun.